And back to you, Buzz, standing by now in Oklahoma City. What's going on there? Nothing. Oh, what? what am I doing here? What? Get out of there, then. <laughs> okay. I told you, don't travel around for no reason. You just because just it sounds good. Now let's go to Buzz in. Light your fart, uh, Arkansas. There he is. That's what they do on the networks. Right. They just stand there for no reason. <laughs> no Wait, reason. If you look behind me now, this is the hospital where they brought the man who was shot. So? What are you doing there? Are you in the hospital room? Can we see the man who was shot? You're wasting our time, and you're, you're wasting satellite time, pal. Back to you, Buzz, in okay. Gainesburg, Georgia. All right. And finally, a display of life-size cows... Generated a lot of attention in uh, Chicago last summer. Now, Austin, Minnesota is trying to do the same things with uh, pigs. The Austin Chamber of Commerce is selling sponsorships for two-foot, 400-pound concrete pigs. Those porkers will be decorated by their new owners and placed around Austin, home of Hormel Foods Corporation. And that's the news, and I'm Buzz Kilman. Now look at it. Here's Tracy Miller with the sport. Where the heck were you? Well, I was uh, letting him ride in Las Vegas. You and the Flint man? Yeah. You and Larry Flint? Absolutely. We were betting 45000 a hand, man. You and Flint. Oh, yeah. Where'd you go in Vegas? Or Lair, as I like to call yeah, him. Yeah, Uncle Lair. Yeah. Uncle, Hello, Uncle Lair. Uncle Larry Tracy likes money. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a conversationalist, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, God, yes. Oh, hey, Tracy, give me a, can you get me a rum and coke? I <laughs> I'm going to, I was thinking about a way, and I was, I swear I was thinking about this last night. I constantly think about this thing in my head that we do here for a living. So I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking, I wonder if I, it's legal to, call, to gamble on the air with real cash. Like if I could get Larry Flynn to come in the studio, and then I put up my cash, he puts up his cash, and a listener puts up his cash, but we have to get a credit card number from them. <laughs> I wonder if I could get... This is, what, this is why I need shots of Robitussin oh, to go to sleep, because I cough. No, I'm, I was really thinking... Is, but my question is... is That's that, a whole cable channel. No, is that legal the or not? A gambling channel. I don't think you're allowed to gamble on the air. No, do you have facts to prove that or not? Well, a fax... No, not a fax, F-A-X, F-A-C-T-S would be good. Do I good. have any facts to prove it? I remember somebody telling me that you're not even allowed to make a friendly wager over the air, but you know. Are you kidding me, man? I bet you right now that the Cubs kick <laughs> Mets ass in Tokyo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got, I got a squid on it. <laughs> All right, uh, wait a minute. Just to see if Jack Silver's voice, just let me know if it's ringing or if he picks up the phone. Just let me know when it's ringing. Jack Silver. Son of a bitch. Because Lord yeah. knows there's been enough gambling going on in this yeah, show. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm not kidding. I've gambled on the air, but and I've always lost. But it would just be very cool if you say on Friday, Larry Flint's coming in with ten grand. Hey, hello. Hey, Larry, Jack. Yeah. Hi, my name is Bob Shepard. How are you? Hey, Bob. I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you, Larry. Son <laughs> of a bitch. Hey, Jack. Is there any uh, Jack Silver, the uh, programming guru, 97.1 FM, the uh, FM talk station, Los Angeles? Don't like to boast. <laughs> you shouldn't. You got nothing to boast about. <laughs> Excuse me, there, you're, big boy. You're running a pile of crap there. This, this All right, top of the heap. All right, listen to me, Jack. Um, is it illegal to gamble? No, I'm be dead serious. I just want your expertise. Don't give me any of your wacky out cues. Is it? Yeah, let's go out on this one, man. <laughs> is it a Stinger. against the law to gamble? If I were to have Larry Flint in the studio, okay? Right. He and I are playing blackjack or, you know, straight up poker, whatever it is, with a listener, and let's say 5000 bucks is the pot. Oh, Jesus. Okay, and one listener wants to get in on it, but they have to give me a credit card number, so if they lose, we get their money also. Not, uh, a, jo not a joke. I'm serious. No, no. I, well, it, no. It's, in other words, the listener can win 10000 bucks, five from me, five from Larry, or we can win, Larry or I will walk away with that five grand from a listener. All right, well, I, I think what I'm, I better do, and honestly, Johnny, let me check with... Infinity Broadcasting legal because I know that you know casino gambling and and stuff like that it, it ha has a little bit of a gray area. The fact that you, Larry Flint, a major <laughs> pornographer, <laughs> and, and, I love it, and one and one of our listeners are going straight up for five grand a pop. It's, it's got it's got some hair on it. <laughs> No. Let me write that one down. Yeah. I, I'd like to open That's the super cooler, but that has got some hair on it. Oh, that is a Jack Silverism. Lock and load that one. Put that one in the soup cooler. It's got some hair on it. 
<laughs> All right, we'll come back with an answer, All right, then. Well, listen, you're on the air for a couple more minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm on for one more minute. Yes, sir. And yeah. I'll, I'll buzz you back before the show's over. Oh, I, well, excuse me, including commercials, 30 seconds I'll be on the air. All right? Very good. All right, take I'll uh, call you back. Jack. Call me back, then. Yeah. All right. That's right. It does have some hair on it. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to uh, give you an answer on that. But that uh, boy, Larry Flint, esteemed pornographer, taking five grand from a listener, and you. <laughs> That does have <laughs> that does have hair on it. Yeah. Go. Come on, that's a great idea. That's a five thousand dollar payday for somebody, or me, or Larry. Near, 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 near. Whatever happened to David Clayton Thomas, man? Johnny B. Radio Showgram. Waiting for an answer from uh, Silverado. Jack Silver. Got one. Son of a bitch. Silver. Uh, Jack, the question was, uh, as a programming guru at 97.1, the FM talk station, hey, you do a beautiful job, by the way, each and every day. Did I ever tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> you tell it to me very uh, often. Oh, that's right. Every day I'll leave some sort of message that reminds you how much I love you. Mm -hmm. All right, Jack, um, the question here is, can I legally, through all radio channels, legally, of course, do the CBS Infinity Broadcasting Rules, play cards with Larry Flint in this studio for $10,000 a hand with a listener who will also have the opportunity to, uh, opportunity to either win or lose that $10,000. Well, in the immortal words of uh, our legal counsel, and I, I went to D.C., got the Infinity uh, attorneys on it, and I quote, mm -hmm. nice try. <laughs> okay. Oh, and, no hair. Yeah. Well, no, there's a lot, hair. Of hair, a lot of hair on this one. <laughs> right. And, and, Johnny, what they basically said was, you got to remember, in, in the state of California, uh, they only allow gambling at Indian casinos or legal card rooms. Right. Now, is Mr. Flint running a, a card room, or is he, uh, does he own an Indian casino? He owns a casino that will open up in April in Gardenia. Seriously, I'm not a joke. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, that's serious. true. Why not do it there? Could you do it there? Well, you know, well, let me just keep going. So if you, fall, if you fall into an Indian casino or a Indian gaming or a legal card room, you could have... Yeah, you, but you'd have to play the house, and you guys would go do that off the air, and then come back and, and I guess Boring. div it up. That's right. Yeah. No, I mean, I, here's what I want. I want to wheel Larry in here, throw a couple of <laughs> rounds of poker onto the table, <laughs> right. and play it for five or ten grand with a listener who could have, stand a chance to win that money or lose that money. Exactly. I was just, it was like I was sleeping, thinking about it, going to sleep, and I was thinking about it, and I thought, I wonder if I could do that. Well, Infinity Paul's not allow you to, to play a poker or, 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 or blackjack for, 20, for ten grand a hand. You're just not going to be able to do I've it. I've done that before, but I saw... If, if, how would you get in trouble only if somebody took you up on that? In other words, if somebody saw or heard of that, well, they, they you would know, call the government. Who would they call and complain about it? Well, you know, your FCC, your Mel Karmazins, right on down the line. But, Johnny, you got to remember, the, the, the studio that you are in right. is attached to a transmitter right. that actually broadcasts out oh. over the yes, I yes. always forget that for some reason. <laughs> you know, I come, I swear to God, sometimes I think, oh yeah, where is this going? So the long and the short of it is, if you want to play poker or blackjack against Mr. Flint and a listener, you'd have to do it at a legal gaming casino or uh, <laughs> card room no. and come back and share your story with your listener. Oh, that would be great. Anyway, I was gambling with Larry the other night, and uh, I, I'm down about 2,000 bucks. And next thing you know, this crazy son of a bitch hits me for another ace, and I'm going crazy. Yeah! I don't say it works. And on the air, who would do the dealing, and how would the listener know Jack? that you're dealing what you're dealing? Jack would deal it because I wouldn't do it unless he was going down with me. <laughs> well, being a, pro being a producer by trade, yeah. I would say once Mr. Flint opens his card parlor, yeah. you know, you bring a uh, digital audio tape recorder. And roll some tape on the thing right there, and then play that back. Oh, you're you're missing the point here. But you I, can't you can't do it from an. I was just wondering because he was going to bet me ten thousand dollars last week on the Academy Awards. I almost took the bet. Yeah. I backed off on it. Good thing I did. But the point is, then I thought, wow, if he's got that kind of money to throw around, let's go at it. Let's I, get to it. Yeah, I think you've got a gambling addiction. Yeah, I do or he does. Oh, wait, well, anybody, if you're, <laughs> I wish I did. I, I wish I don't even know how to gamble. I only know how to play um, blackjack, but I have to do it when I'm really sober. Well, d well, don't just don't do it live on the air from your studio right there in Hollywood. You ever play blackjack drunk, Jack? 
I'm not a big card player, you know. I'm not. I'm well, not a terrible. gambler. It's no. terrible because you go like, okay, eight, eight and seven, okay, 16, <laughs> eight and seven, sixteen, okay, uh, fourteen, thirteen. Wait, 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 hold on. And the dealer's looking at you like, and all the other people are you know, the Saudi Arabians and the yeah. Japanese. Come on, do it, play the game. <laughs> and I'll throw a little additional uh, salt in that wound. In, yeah. in the state of California, in, the, in these in these game rooms, in these card rooms, they play twenty two. It's not even 22. 21. Yeah. What? That's got hair on it. That's right. <laughs> That's got hair on it. That's right. All right. So let, no, let, no, no, no. Wait, what are you talking about, 22? What's that? For example, if you play cards at the Commerce Casino, right. okay, they don't play blackjack. Or they play blackjack, but it's not 21. It's 22. What is it? Really? Who's that? Spom- Spermhead? Yeah, yeah Spongebob's in here. It's hey, called- Spermhead. Wait, hold, hold on. Promotional director Spermhead. Come Mikey here. Spermhead is on the phone. Have you ever been in one of those card clubs in California? I don't think so. Oh, it's called man. California 22. Well, uh, how do you play that spermy? Well, it's the same premise except for 21. you got to go to 22. Well, who made that game well, up? Well, well, what's the point? California law, buddy. Are you, wait, wait. Are you see, like, okay, so, for example, if Larry Flynn opens a casino in Gardenia, mm-hmm. they got to play 22, not yep. 21. That's right. And so all you're doing is every rule applies as it does in blackjack except for the numbers changed to 22. Yeah, yeah it is. And there's no... What because about they're, the, because, they're, because as the state of California does not have the same gaming license... Uh, as, as the state of Nevada does. How do you get 21, or how do you get a blackjack? You don't yeah, get blackjack? Yeah, there's no blackjack. There's no blackjack. They, they can't call a blackjack. They call a California 22. Oh, because, my God. Because that's, that's all... Yeah, uh, it's all states who have the licensing agreements or the state regulatory. In That's place. the crazy Indians coming up with that. That's why this country's going to hell. I'm <laughs> telling you right now. Hey, That's you know, crazy. But you know, you look at you go to like the, the Commerce Casino. We just did that thing there, and then or if you go to the. Uh, um, was it the one in Hollywood Park? Those places are packed in the middle of the day. You can't get a seat. Cannot get a seat. And they're playing twenty two. They're playing twenty two. Oh, I would, all day long. I wouldn't want anything to but do with on that. The Indian, cause in the Indian casinos, you can play twenty one. Well, yeah, because they have this this grandfather law. I think, yeah. That, uh, that you're they're Indians. Indian. Yeah, that's, they can do anything yeah, they, they trying, want. They were trying to get it legalized, and I think uh, it didn't pass. But you know, then they found a loophole, so now they have this twenty two game, and it's obviously doing very well. They're why packed. would they want to take a great sport like blackjack and screw it up by adding <laughs> yeah. another number? Couldn't tell you. One yeah. more number for me to add up. Well, thank you very much, there, Sponby. All right, buddy. Of course, All you right. know I get twenty two <laughs> a lot. Yeah, sure, me too. <laughs> you know, when so. I don't want to. Does that cover it? It covers it. I, that was very thorough on your part, and I appreciate that. Well, I've learned something that I did not know, the, the California 22 law, stupid. And then, and then even if you go to the Indian gaming casinos, that's where it's like you're the house. In other words, you go there and you put your own dough down. And you, and then, yeah, oh, this, yeah, they, these Indians are crazy. Oh, it's 50 oh. Cents to, the, to, the ter, to the tribe, dude. <laughs> there ain't no way. Okay, yeah. now you want to play? Yeah, here's what we want you to do. Yeah, deal me in. Okay, you got any money? Yeah, put your own money down. You're playing against yourself. What are you saying? Your you own money for each hand. You, you, you're the house. In other words, say you go there with your thousand. People play against you, and then for every hand, fifty cents goes to the tribe. Right. Oh, that's uh, that's not. Well, anyway, that's come on. Not. Don't you have another bit? Why don't you bring a chick in there with a chair and let her do it? No. No, you're talking, my friend. <laughs> right. So you're allowing that? <laughs> Are you saying we can bring the chair in of now? Of course I'm not. Don't yeah. you have some funny comedy yeah. segments? Yeah. Yeah. The vagina. Yeah. The vagina. The vagina. Let's get a chair. The vagina. The vagina. We're bringing that chair back. You heard him say again. I'm bringing it back. I'm going to go into the Indian reservation. I'm going to give them my own money so I can play 22. (laughs) Here's an idea. Why don't you give me half the money you were going to bet? Then we'll go out back. I'll kick you in the nuts, and we'll call it a day. You're listening to Jonathan Brandmeier.